only on 13. We were there as Friendswood police swarmed the home of a 17 year old who is now charged with murder. The arrest comes just one day after he posted his $1 million bond. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor was the only one there and she joins us live with the latest. Brooke. Greg, some of the victim's family members have been posting on social media asking how someone who's accused of a violent crime is able to be home and spend Christmas with their family while another family is grieving. Now, 24 hours later, and Connor Hilton is charges have been upgraded, and we were there as officers surrounded his family's home and arrested him for murder. With their guns drawn, Friendswood police swarm the home of a 17-year-old now murder suspect. Still no movement from inside the home. The officer gets back on the bullhorn. We have a warrant. Come to the door now. Make sure you have your hands in the air. Minutes later, the door opens and Connor Hilton is walked out in handcuffs and arrested. Any comment? Hilton was arrested earlier this week after two men were shot on LaSalle Street where he lives. One of the victims, 18 year old Eric Riley, died at the hospital, and the other victim is still in critical condition, according to police. Hilton was originally charged with two counts of aggravated assault, causing serious bodily injury. His bond was raised to $1 million, which he was able to post on Sunday, allowing him to spend Christmas with his family at home. That is until officers showed up at his front door with a new warrant. Hilton is now charged with murder. He was taken to the Friendswood City Jail before he's going to be transferred to the Galveston County Jail. And Friendswood police have been outspoken about the bond conditions on the original charges like no GPS monitor. Now with these upgraded charges, the chief says he is assured that the appropriate bond conditions would now be set. We're live in Friendswood. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.